your boy Mad Max. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the mind-body connection when it comes to exercise. Because I think this is a particularly relevant topic living with a disability. And I think it's also important if you're not living with a disability. And I'll get into the reasons in a little bit. But first, I want to talk about Maximus Moves. My health and wellness coaching service for others living with physical disabilities. Living with muscular dystrophy myself, I know how hard it is to find purpose and direction in life. Are you held back by self-limiting beliefs, thinking you'll never have the social life you want, the love life you want, or thinking fitness is totally out of the question? With my heart, mind, and body method, you will soon realize nothing is holding you back. Think of me as your older brother and accountability partner with the mission to improve mind, body, and soul. So if you or someone you know is currently living with a physical disability, book a strategy session with me in the description below and we will create a personalized workout and wellness plan catered to your personal needs to take back control of your life. If you also want to join my private Facebook group for other like-minded individuals who are also motivated to, to take back control of their lives, link is in the description below. So today, I really wanted to talk about the mind-body connection when it comes to exercise. Because a couple days ago, I really wasn't feeling good. I wasn't really in the right mental headspace. And part of it was because of what I was doing, I wasn't able to exercise for a couple days. And it's amazing how much it changes my mood. So the first point I wanted to talk about is how exercise really improves your mood. You know, sometimes I'm not feeling up for it. Sometimes I'm not feeling energized and it's really a struggle to start exercising. But I've realized that once I start exercising, I feel a lot better. And that should be no surprise because it really changes the neurochemistry in your brain. You know, they talk about the runner's high, but there's just a general exercise high in general. And that's something that I really love to feel. And for a lot of people living with muscular dystrophy, a lot of the advice is to avoid exercising so as to limit the muscle wasting. But I find that you need at least some exercise to improve your mood. And that's why whether you're able-bodied or not, I recommend you just move. I mean, you know, it doesn't take a lot. Just move a little bit here, move a little bit there. Just change your entire headspace. The mind-body connection is real. And anecdotally, I've experienced, I'm sure you have as well. And another thing too, with the mind-body connection is that I find that I have a lot more energy after I exercise, which seems a little counterintuitive, but for me, I think it makes sense, or for anyone for that matter. By getting your mind moving, by getting your body moving, you just feel more energized. I find personally, when I'm not exercising, that I feel more tired than I otherwise would you know, I almost want to take a nap, just not do much. And here I am after my workout about 20, 25 minutes ago. And I just was motivated to talk to everyone out there today discussing this very important topic. Obviously, if you're disabled, I think it's super important trying to work up a sweat. But I think that on top of that, if you're not disabled it's a super important thing to remember that exercising really energizes you. Now, moving on to my next point, exercise, it's good for the heart. It's good for the lungs. You know, it doesn't have to be something very rigorous. Just whatever you can do, it'll increase your heart rate, expand your lungs, and it's a very good thing for your health, your cardiovascular health, in particular, I find that my breathing is better. You know, I almost feel my heart is also much better when I'm exercising. 
And another thing too, when I exercise is I like to supplement my workouts with protein afterwards to help rebuild and replenish my muscles, which is super important living with muscular dystrophy, being aware of muscle health. So moving on to my next point, I want to talk about just joint health and and muscle health that by moving, you maintain flexibility. And that's super important living with any disability, in particular MD, such as what I'm living with. You know, they say stretching is very important, and I completely agree. I find that my exercises are almost supercharged when I'm stretching before my workouts. And whether you're disabled or not, stretching before workouts, I highly recommend. I find that I experience greater soreness and it comes on a lot quicker when I'm not stretching. So before I continue talking about the mind-body connection of exercise, I first wanted to take this time to talk about supplements. More specifically, supplements I use every day. Whether it's creatine monohydrate to give me an extra boost in my workout or whey protein powder for my recovery. I swear by them and you should add them to your daily workout. Living with muscular dystrophy and taking steroids. I also need to supplement my diet with vitamin D3 to keep my bones strong and CoQ10 to keep my heart healthy. And I also use lion's mane mushroom to keep my mind in check. So if you're interested in adding supplements to your diet, into your life, links are in the description below. Now back to the video. So I think by now it's almost undeniable the mind-body connection. You know, looking at Vedic medicine and just yoga in general, it's all about this mind-body connection. In yoga, there are actual stretches that they say help to release trauma where we build it in our body. And I think that that just shows how interconnected they are. I find that, unfortunately, more research needs to be done and it's already showing results that this mind-body connection is undeniable. But I find that in Western medicine, a lot of times we think that they're somehow not connected. But they, in fact, are very much connected. And I find that my mood is greatly correlated with whether or not I exercise. And I think that you might find the same thing. So, again, the mind-body connection is really powerful. It helps with your mood. It helps give you energy. It's good for your heart and your lungs. It's good for just muscle health and joint health. And I think that the more I exercise, the better I'll feel. And I hope the takeaway from this video is that you need to exercise to improve your mood. It's not only about physical health, but your mental health is equally important. And one is important, but so is the other, and they are interconnected. So please smash that like button, comment, subscribe. Until next time, it's your boy Max, over and out.